Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here, and today I have another deck profile for you guys, and this is going to be a Seismitoad Garbodor deck list. So, I'm going to go over the deck, and talk about some cards, and give you guys a basic concept of the deck, and we'll see how this goes. So, starting off, we have four Seismitoad EX. Seismitoad is a card that was introduced in the Furious Fist set. It's got the attack Quaking Punch for 30 damage and your opponent can't play trainers during their next turn. And that's Grenade Hammer for 130, and then you do 30 damage to two of your Pokemon on the bench. Uh, pretty much with this deck, you're just going to kind of be doing the first attack mostly. Uh, hurting your opponent, like, or basically, locking them down for trainers really hurts your opponent. Um, a lot of decks really rely on trainers. And trainers are usually, you know, 20, 30 cards of the deck or something like that, you know, it's a pretty big chunk of the deck. So, I mean, um, Seismitoad's a really good card, plus it's a water type, and with the popularity of Landorus, um, Seismitoad's going to be hitting Landorus really hard, and uh, so I feel like it's a really cool card. I think I'd go over So we got four of those, then we got a 2-2 Garbodor. Um, this just kind of adds to it, uh, kind of adds some more pressure on your opponent. Being able to uh, not play trainers or have abilities is very 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 crazy also if uh, you quaking punch well they can't use megaphone on you so garbodor's garbotoxin is going to remain in effect so the pretty pretty awesome synergy we have here between these two um so yeah this really really cool deck so we play a 2-2 garbodor and then, uh, with the popularity of Lucario and stuff running around, uh, people are playing Mewtwo more and more. So I figured out there are a couple of Mewtwo in here. And uh, also, Mewtwo is a really, really good attacker still. Uh, you know, it can just, it can pretty much, you know, take care of like really big attackers and stuff by itself. So running two of those, X Ball is absolutely awesome. Uh, another thing this deck really struggles against is Rising Genesec. So I figured my option to that would either be don't play anything or try to play but try to play something at least uh, if you want to kind of you know take these out and go for like a different route you know or just take the loss of raising Genesec and go for it but uh, basically my idea here and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are doing this anyway is uh, basically leaving this in the active spot and basically you know saying hey if you want to emerald slash I'm gonna knock you out because uh, if they emerald slash you with a muscle band then you can return KO them with the outrage or if they just emerald slash you and you attach a muscle band, you're knocking them out. So I run a couple rush rounds. And that'll do it for the Pokemon for the supporters. I have four Juniper, four N. I have three Skyla. And I have two Lysander. And one Shauna. Okay, so Juniper and N, pretty, you know, pretty standard. Uh, Skyla is going to be able to help you get some stuff out of your deck that you really need to get, like uh, specific trainers and stuff, maybe support for next turn. Uh, Lysander I really like. I wish I had two full arts, so I'm going to say that now. Um, Lysander is really good because, you know, if they have a Mewtwo sitting on the bench with a DCE, then you can uh, play down yours, attach a DC Muscle Man, and just Lysander and get two free prizes, or you can just send up something with high retreat cost and uh, you know, just pick away at it. And Shauna, Shauna's just a really cool card. I was going to play Colrus, but uh, through testing I figured out that, you know, Colrus doesn't really work with this deck that well. So that's my hand with Shauna. So trainers, we have um, four Ultra Ball. And uh, Quaking Punch only hits for 30 damage, which isn't that much. So uh, I added some damage modifiers in here. Uh, I do play four Muscle Band. I feel like that's really cool because uh, four Muscle Band, you know, it'll, it'll give you a wide, pretty much a wide selection of you know, muscle bands in the deck. I don't know what I just tried to say there, but I hope you guys got the gist of what I was saying. Um, you can just hit for 50, or um, you know, you can you can help one shot other Mewtwo's with your Mewtwo, and then Reshiram, you know, can one shot Brizians and stuff like that. So I play four of those, and then I do a Burbank Laser Line, which uh, also adds damage and can be really really cool. Um, because this is annoying. Dealing with special conditions and um, trainer lock ability. I mean, this deck, this deck's basically made to annoy your opponent to death. 
uh, to give Garbodor a little extra you know, usage of its Garbodox ability. I have no idea what I'm trying to say when I start making sentences, so bear with me. <laughs> Uh, I play three floodstone. I, I don't like two. I, I prefer three, but if you guys want to play two, go for it. Uh, Seismitoad, Garbodor, and all that. Like the, pretty much everything in here has a retreat cost, so I play a couple switches. Uh, play bicycle. I play a couple of those. Try them out. I'm really liking bicycle. That's why I play a couple in here. Uh, I play one professor's letter just to get some energy to your hand. Uh, a card that I'm trying out, which I think is really cool, is Max Potion. I figure you can just, you know, max potion off a of seismitoid or something and then just attach a DCE. And uh, my A spec to go for consistency is uh, computer search. You can go with dowsing machine if you want. I just went for computer search just to, you know, try to get the trainer lock on as soon as possible. Uh, for the energy, uh, of course, four DCE. And then I play six water energy. Yeah, I play six water energy, and uh, that'll be the deck, guys. Uh, it's a cool deck. I really enjoy playing it. I don't enjoy playing against it, unless I'm playing Verizon and Genesec. But uh, that being said, guys, I hope you all like the deck. Um, hope you don't think it's too bad. Uh, I've been messing around with this one, and uh, I really enjoy it. And uh, I'll have some more deck profiles for you guys soon. Thank you all for watching, and this is Epic Pokemon TCG, signing out, and I love you all. It's all I wanna do.